Hello, happy Thanksgiving, and welcome back to Stupid Baby Toys, where I take toys from my baby son's collection and muck them. Um, it is Thanksgiving. Um, I suppose it would be a good idea to have a Thanksgiving-themed toy for this edition, but there really aren't any Thanksgiving-themed toys. As we all know, Thanksgiving is really a, a gift holiday. It's a holiday where we we give thanks for what we have, and then immediately decide that we don't have enough crap and go out and buy more stuff. This begins the Christmas shopping season, so happy Thanksgiving. <clears throat> Today we are going to take a break from the stuffed animals and look at these two things, which um, I'm going to call multilingual plastic animal medallions. The uh, <clears throat> They're designed to dangle, just like many baby toys, because babies, you know, Spend a lot of time lying on the back. Just like your mom. Just kidding. Um, <clears throat> these are both made by Baby Einstein, which I'm already tired of, even though I, these are, I just learned these are Baby Einstein toys. Um, and preparing for this because I, everywhere I go, are you trying to Baby Einstein yet? Are, are you doing the Baby Einstein? Yeah, the, he's, he's like less than 90 days old. I'm not too worried about his SAT scores quite yet. But um, anyway, um, what these basically are. <clears throat> are um, little plastic things, and they have a picture of an animal on them, and then they have the name of the animal in uh, five different languages. So, starting out with uh, the, the turtle, we have it's, you know, it's identified as turtle, la tortuga, la tortue, the shield crota, la tartaruga, and Ah, tartaruga. Notice that uh, everybody gets the definite article except in English. I don't know why that is. <clears throat> Maybe because we don't use genders. I don't know. Who knows? But um, one thing to notice about this is uh, the German die Schildkröte. Um, so that's t made up of two different words. It's a uh, shield is a shield, and then Kröte is toad, which kind of indicates the German approach to linguistics, which is the kind of Dr. Frankenstein approach where you just take existing words and smash them together. So Germans uh, you know, see a turtle and they see a toad wearing a shield, which is very interesting. So for um, the fish, we have fish, el pez, le poisson, de fish, il pesque, not sure if the C is pronounced there, sorry, and opexe. I'm assuming these, the fifth ones are Portuguese here. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce them, or if it's actually Portuguese. Um, so, you know, there are a couple things going on here. First of all, despite the fact that I've moved away from the West Coast and now live in the middle, I fully intend to raise my son and future child or children um, to be multilingual and to do the extent possible. Uh, I, I think that's important. Um, I, I don't think it's important to get them going on multilingualism when they're young enough to have these in their room. Um, <clears throat> I also think it's kind of ambitious to have a, expect a kid to speak five languages, um, even if it's just being able to name two animals. Um, another thing that kind of bugged me about this was the fact that uh, the fish that they use is a clown fish, which it is a fish. Um, it's the Finding Nemo fish, which brings in some sort of, I don't know, it's just a little too close to cross promotions, cross branding. For all I know, Baby Einstein is owned by Disney wouldn't surprise me at all, but see the thing is if you're trying to teach a small person with a you know undeveloped brain what a fish is and, and how to say fish in five different languages, you should pick a more canonical fish. You know, a little kid is gonna look at this and not see a fish. You know, a fish is something with that's you know shaped like a fish and has fins. They're gonna see a, an orange and white thing, or actually really an, an orange and blue thing, because this is a really horribly transferred photo. Um, it, it, it's, not, it's not the video quality that's making this look blue. It's actually, it actually does look blue. Um, <clears throat> so I would, were I Baby Einstein, which I clearly am not, I would pick a uh, more canonical fish as the standard bearer for the multilingual fish. Um, I don't really have any complaints about the turtle they chose, other than the fact that it's a sea turtle and, you know, there are land turtles, I think. Yes, there are, because my my brother had a turtle and it actually escaped. It ran away. It literally was totally hysterical. Anyway, um, so these are stupid. You know, they're just gonna do nothing to bring 
Spanish, French, German, Italian, or Portuguese in my son's life, and uh, you know, by the time he he can say fish in any language, he's will be in the closet waiting for his younger sibling. So there you go, stupid um, multilingual plastic animal medallions. This has been Super Baby Toys, and join us next time.